I've considered I need to take a break from this. It's, it's taking up too much time. She's talking not about TV nor online shopping, but about Facebook. And she's not alone. According to the Pew Research Center, more than 60% of Facebook users have decided to take a break from the social network, sometimes for weeks at a time. And during the Super Bowl, Americans seem to turn more to Twitter, blowing it up with tweets about the commercials, the blackout, the Harbaugh's. So is Facebook fatigue setting in? Not according to a group of college students we spoke to at New York University. I think it's kind of the standard. Um, I find it easier to coordinate events and also you get a lot more information about your friends. I'm really addicted. Sometimes like I wake up in the middle of the night with like my phone plastered to my face because I go to sleep like on it. Despite its popularity with more than 600 million active users, the company has lost value since going public. Facebook debuted in May at $38 a share, tumbled almost immediately and hasn't fully recovered. I think that it caught investors by surprise to think that Facebook really didn't necessarily have sort of a clear monetization path when they went public, not just in terms of the advertising, but also on the sort of payment side, virtual goods and so forth. Founder Mark Zuckerberg says recent numbers have been better than expected and is confident about expanding Facebook's audience. But one of the company's biggest challenges has been how to make money off its mobile users, a group growing by the hour. Just last month, the number of people checking Facebook on mobile devices topped the number checking the site on the web. But mobile ads are cheaper and fewer people click on them. Facebook has rolled out new features like graph search and Facebook gifts, but Zuckerberg said he wants to temper expectations for the new additions. I think it's important for them to be able to sort of, you know, evolve the experience for some, from something where they're trying to push and create demand uh, to one where they're trying to satisfy demand for their existing user base. Revenue concerns aside, Facebook still has a lot going for it. It's unique, it's ubiquitous, and it's only nine years old. Allison Cossack, CNN, New York.